Hey guys, Regina coming to you from Kauai. Aloha. Hey, today I want to share with you three tips. Three tips that are going to help you, uh, con you know, focus on what you want, help you get what you want out of life, and here they are. Uh, tip number one is to be flexible, okay? And I bring this up because today I did, I got back to working out and I realized that it's important to be flexible. It's important to, uh, to not, you know, be so stuck on one particular way of doing things and um, and just doing what works. So in your business, if you're flexible, if you realize that sometimes you're going to have to adjust course, right? Sometimes you're going to have to set sail in a different direction. You may try a new direction and it's not working for you and sometimes you have to go back to what you know, what you've done in the past that works. So be flexible and be willing to adjust course and just get get on the way to the goal that you have for yourself, right? And the second one is focusing on that goal, okay? Um, I've realized, um, you know, in, in working out, I, I started a new workout uh, called Size, and it was fun, but it wasn't quite the best for me. I just wasn't motivated. I wasn't, I wasn't doing what I needed to do every day. I, I ended up just not even working out because it was, I wasn't motivated to work out, and it didn't make it. It wasn't a priority. It didn't make it a priority. And then I started to focus on what's really important to me. Not only do I want to look good, I live in a, you know, in a, in a beach town where the ocean's like five minutes away and everybody's in bathing suits, right? But even even past that, I want to feel better. I want to feel good. I want to wake up feeling energetic and alive. And so I had to focus on, you know, instead of worrying about the newest thing, I had to get back to what works for me. So I got back to a workout that that works for me. So this is kind of goes back to tip number one, to be flexible and do what works for you and focus on your goal. What is going to get you to the goal you have? Hopefully you have one. And sometimes you have to be flexible in, in kind of getting clear on your goals and maybe switching them up a bit if it's not quite what's resonating with your life. And, you know, life changes. So have a goal, focus on that goal, and keep working towards it. And lastly, the last tip I have for you is um, to plan daily. To plan. And, and this, is, this is hard for me to say because I love living a life of freedom. I want to wake up and just do what I want whenever I want, meander through the day. And you know what? That's got me nowhere. Some real talk here. That has gotten me nowhere. Just getting up and, and you know, kind of just bouncing all over the place like something that comes up and I'm, I'm just bouncing around isn't working. It, it didn't work for me. So I realized that I need to plan daily. So do you need to plan daily? Like me, do you need to get up and make a to-do list of the things you need to get done? Prioritize what must be done first in all areas of your life and what is going to feed you first and I say that because I realized that I needed to get up and I needed to put something in my mind that kept my thinking in the right place that got rid of the stinking thinking so first thing in the morning I make a to-do to -do list while I'm having coffee and then I get on a call a mindset call which I'll share that information in the description here but I get on a mindset call that gets my mind going in the right direction. It reminds me what I need to be focusing on, reminds me what's important, and so I encourage you to do the same. What are you uh, doing to plan your day? What are you doing to plan your, um, your path to freedom, your path to financial freedom, your path to more time? Plan daily. And so now I've gotten to the point where um, I've actually got a calendar, I actually write it down on a calendar. And I resisted this for so long. And so I'd love to know maybe what you do to plan your day. How do you effectively plan the things that you're going to do for the day and stick to them and get them done? Now, already this morning, I plan. I made a plan. I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm planning my morning. I'm planning it. And I did. And I tell you what, in just it's only 10 o'clock here. And already I feel like I've accomplished so much and I still have a bunch to do on my business. I'm super excited. So those are three tips that came to me today while I was working out. I wanted to share them with you. Hopefully they've uh, provided some value to you in your life and your business and what you're doing. You know, share in the comments. Let me know if you have any more suggestions. Other people would love to hear your suggestions on how they can uh, make these areas better in their life. And also let me know how it works for you. I'd like to know if, if you try it and you, and you, you know, you just put these tips to use. Let me know what your thoughts are and how it's working for you. Um, visit me at freedom-creator.biz and see what I'm doing to live life on my terms. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care. Make it an awesome day. Bye-bye now.